Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we're playing Legendary Iron Man Difficulty. Today we're going to look at a bit of a more difficult mission. Oh, I forgot to say we're of course in month number 7, still on our mission spree where we're trying to kind of liberate maybe even parts of South America or North America. So in a nutshell, the entire fight against the aliens has shifted to both of the Americas. And this time we're looking at Operation Wolf Father. Our squad is only five strong. Got a couple of really good soldiers here. Sean Shonigans is going to lead this as an assault. We got Nasty, our Grenadier. We got uh, Kuchais, our Shinobi. So a pretty solid team. This is, uh, we got a specialist and of course our skirmisher, Harbringer, who's going to help. So I'm not terribly um, afraid about the people that we sent there, but it's more uh, we got to kill everyone and it's 18 enemies. So five against 18 makes up for a good story. Let's see how well we can play that. Good, we landed in the sewers this time. There's really nothing else to do other than eliminating every single enemy. And since we are not concealed, we're starting with uh, something that is just a safety precaution. So seven turns and we can get out of here. We kind of started at a dead end. Trying to see, this looks a bit like, the, yeah, I was about to say a train. So that's normally uh, the start. This is, uh, is normally one of the building uh, path where a target finishes, so kind of an alien um, relay here. And you need to go over a train in order to get here. But for now we are uh, starting here so we got one scout thanks to the unique ability of our shinobi he's not being revealed and that allows us to simply move up i like the idea of high ground here let's see whom we would put onto the high ground well clearly We'd like to get Harbringer there, but on the other hand, you could make an argumentation. Um, if we were to position him here, he could always grapple back up and also grapple onto the other side. So if we were to look for flank, um, we could put definitely our um, support up here. Um, okay, well, uh, let's say I wouldn't have guessed that that actually could have happened, but okay. Pretty strong pack. And they have unfortunately positioned in a way so we can't hit them both with the frost bomb, which would have been awesome. So instead, I think what we're going to do, since we have been kind of caught with our pens down, I want to make sure that they don't have any good engage on us. Yeah, I'm not taking the 50-50, we're just taking normal shots here. And let's start with the Archon. No, nah, we don't. We don't need to hand over an an action. Instead, let's move over here into half cover. Give ourselves fortify. Yeah, we're too far away. Might as well use the stunner. Get 
Good. Oh, wow. That's into full cover, despite all of um, our best efforts. Whew. Okay, well. We do have Salvo, uh, which will allow us to optimize our action economy. Let's start doing that. First a grenade. Did that remove his cover? No, it didn't. Should have probably placed the grenade further here. We definitely need to use the healing ability here. And now it's a question how aggressive we'd like to go about it. I would say aggressive in case of doubt. Moving up with run and gun. And let's get rid of these guys. It's a pretty solid shot, but how about you consider trying this again, thanks to rapid fire, which is not busted at all. We got an additional turn. There we go. Alright, let's optimize our actions here. We're pulling towards them. Nice, that's an extra stun. I was hoping that we would get a bit more damage than that. If, if I take a shot at uh, the suit, it will end my turn because uh, the suit cannot take cover, uh, hence it cannot be exposed and the uh, hit and run ability only works on things that can take cover, but same is true for the Archon, unfortunately. You know, we're not in a hurry, so let's disable it. I was about to say I didn't want to play it greedy. Because if we could have stunned it, that would have been awesome. Clearly didn't work. Yeah, we're just taking the shot. Fortunately not killing it. He can't see uh, the mech, so handing over an ability wouldn't really help. But we do have Bladestorm. 
and I don't want to get injured even more so it's a difficult it's a difficult call I also want to keep concealment I don't want to use the frost bomb yet so let's overwatch so that when it moves we can hit it and we're giving over an action which again if If the thing moves, we're going to overwatch kill it. So, that should be fine. We got company, mech, pr uh, priest, and probably two advent. Great game design. I love it. Not sure why exactly we couldn't take an overwatch shot. Let's pull the stun lancer. Oh hell yeah! Ah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Sun Lancer is exposed, so we can kill it and get an extra turn with hit and run. Thank you. That's awesome. Letting everyone participate. Not sure. I mean, we can give them get some. Or. I'm dealing with that guy. Hmm. Little chance to crit. So we're not going to try it. Let's... Well, Carbringer has 29 hit points. Oh, I just realized that. That's a lot. Let's give Sean here the 8 protocol. Yeah, and let's finish the Andromedon shell first. Fortunately, our precision shot didn't really do much. Moving up to profit from uh, weapon proximity. And that should deal with the Andromedon. Okay. It's dangerous to position ourselves here, so I'll take this one. The priest is a really dangerous target, not necessarily the uh, flamer. I take a new approach.
Let us move over here. That way, if he passes, uh, we'll get a free attack. Shit, I was hoping that we could simply hand over our action. Uh, it seems to be not the case. He continues being stunned. Should be a mind control. Into mind shield, by the way. Sean Sean against does not give a damn about that. Good job, Sean. Well done. And we're immune to fire, so I largely ignore purifiers at this point. Ah. Into full cover. <laughs> Into full cover. Why? And how? Damn it. Let me think that through. Moving over. The f yeah, the frost bomb is considered a supporting grenade. Doesn't make much sense, but I take it. So let's take out this guy f um, at least for now. Good, and this here should take out uh, his armor and remove the suppression. I'm not terribly afraid about suppression, but still, getting the armor removed and maybe putting him out of cover would be nice. Uh, unfortunately, we can't put him out of cover. I would really like to reduce uh, the cooldowns by one turn, but I'm not sure if that's feasible or if I should instead simply go here and take two shots to deal with this guy. Probably the better idea. We still need to deal with the Archon, by the way. Sean Sean against is still okay, we don't need to heal yet. I do have an idea. Reloading. Dealing with the Archon. Uh, that's not as much damage as I wish it would have been. Down to one.
and that will deal with the Viper, which is good. Um, meaning we only need to find a solution for the big boy over there. Certainly could run and gun and stand right next to him, but yeah, at the same time, like, we know it's 18 enemies, and what did we face? Two plus four, that's six. Plus three, that's nine, so there's plenty more to come. I will go. We need to play it safe. Unfortunately, just a grazing shot. go down and try to kill him. What's our chance of stunning him? 50% not good enough. Moving up. Should have done that. Waited with uh, Kuchai's. Okay, let's try to kill him. It's one hit, come on. One more. Very good. Good riddance. Like, trouble here. All right, hit and stun. I will not fail you again. Nope, miss and no stun. That's a bummer. It means Sean Sean against will take uh, the hit because Stasis will go off and essentially then he'll just take the blazing pinions. That's really bad. Problem is even if you kill him, the stasis won't go away. That there is no way to deal with the stasis at, at, at this point. You kidding me? Unfortunately, we also can't just send over an action. He will be uh, he will be back soon. Heading out. So the correct play here is, I think when they are frozen they can't withstand melee attacks and can't really counter them.
Oh, nice. Uh, mm, apparently, the stasis ended afterwards. I was under the firm impression that that would happen exactly the other way around. He will melee attack, and we can counter it. Blade Storm. And then he attacked us and we basically counter-attacked. <laughs> he took two hits to the face. So good. Lovely. All right. Time to deal with the purifier. Good, we still got an, a retaliation uh, once this guy awakes. Also, let's grab some loot. Nice little Alarium core, always handy. And we're putting ourselves right next to him so that there is another Blade Storm attack. Taking one of the very few cover spots. God, we have demolished this area. Now we're reloading instead. Okay. Oh, I had an, uh, an auto loader. Yeah, I shouldn't have reloaded. Impact fields and advanced hacking. Well, that's okay. So let's talk about the mission. We got a pack of two, a pack of four, that's six, a pack of three, that's nine. So there are still plenty enemies left over. Let's carefully advance. I move. Confirmed. By the way, we're still okay on our resources. Got enough med kits. And I think I'm going to heal just nah, probably not worth it yet. Twelve is still plenty. We unfortunately can't re-stealth. That's a bit of a bummer. Solid copy. Eyes peeled. Good time for reload. Everyone else is overwatching. And let's see if we can find a pack. That was our original extraction point. Extraction Can simply put a new one. This is firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Yeah. Fair enough, okay. Half cover is full cover for our um, for our skirmisher. By the way, I really like the skirmisher here in in Long War, what they have done to the class. Feels way more like a heroic class. Okay. It's very unlikely there's no one here. It's pretty likely that the remaining picks are somewhere in this corridor over here. Good to go. 
So taking mostly full cover. And there's the potential pack of enemies. Ooh, a mutant elite. <laughs> you haven't hit a single shot. Oh yeah, well, okay, for one damage. Thank you. That's great. Let's just pull him a bit closer. Well, hello there, Stun Lancer. Yep, sucks being you, my friend. We have no grenades for cover removal. And we got this bad boy over here. I'd like to charge in and just shotgun to the face him. But we got to deal with the others as well. Just finishing him real quick. I mean, we could grapple up and just go there. Oscar Miking. Time to flank these guys. Come on. Mm, unfortunately, not a hit. could go in that would probably not solve our uh, that would probably not solve the entire pack I mean Sean can certainly run and gun he could get to here Question is, is it going to be enough in order to kill this guy? Could definitely go with a flashbang. Sean gets an aid protocol and a healing. And let's do this. He has full cover even if he's flanked. Of course, not what we wanted to see. Plus, I can't reach him with command, which is even worse. You 
shit, <laughs> we failed that as well. Ah, oh my god. Blowing cooldowns left and right. So just to be clear, he now has a minus 65 to hit him. All right, now I know how to do the play. We're setting ourselves up here. That's going to trigger the overwatch. Thanks to lightning reflexes, no problem. Let's shred this guy. Very nice. Started to hit him. No, 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 let's continue to eradicate the mutant. Fully shredded. That's exactly what we wanted to see. All right, reloading. And time to kill him. Mutant elitists are tough. They are. Okay, let's continue to move in and we're pinning him down. That was a mistake, my friend. It's just buying you some time. Nothing more and nothing less. Moving in. And that might have been the last pick. Yeah, pretty brutal last fight, like very brutish. The headstrong charging in and dealing with him, but it was fun. Great, only a few days of uh, being wounded, unfortunately eight for just two points of damage. I don't know how that makes any sense, but okay, whatever. The team was successful though, I like it, and a lot of loot. Alarium cores. The focus isn't really that good. Hacking is okay. Suppressor is good, I like it. And look at that, Alarium crystal supplies and so on and so forth. That's cool. Got another um, Archon corpse. And I am considering to build another spark because I know you guys like the robotic plays and we have only three so far. So very soon we're going to get an influx of a lot of money. We might want to build a few sparks. Are you serious? Another raid? Oh my god, it's only 20 hours. Let me check something. I mean, theoretically, you can do an uninfiltrated raid, but that would require the A-team. 
who's available at the moment. Yeah, that's not going to happen. I mean, it would be incredibly cool, but I don't want to risk um, like experienced troops by doing a half half baked approach for the supply rate. Twenty hours is really very very little time. We could infiltrate the tower and do it right away, or we're just continuing to uh, infiltrate. Hmm. Wait a second. The tower definitely has some of our best soldiers. So if they were to flawlessly do the tower mission, which they could, I could then take everyone into the raid. 18 hours, well that's a banger. It's a close one. We would talk about 50 enemies, guys. Am I getting too greedy? <laughs> we have so many we have so many missions. Uh, now nah, let's just infiltrate it. It's fine. Yeah, and we already got this one here going. This is going to be... Okay, this mission is um, is happening next. Boy, oh boy, 36 enemies, and our squad is not good. Um, well, it's not bad either, but it's... It's an okay uh, squad. Um, Mike Bravo. We got uh, a Shinobi, Wildcat. We got an Assault. We got one of our kind of moderately good sharpshooters, Aftermath. We got Bob Ross and we got a Grenadier. And the question is whether or not to invest 30 intel to get all of the loots. I'll figure that one out. Intercept Advent reinforcements would be great because it means uh, that the baseline of South America would not increase. Yeah, but I will need to figure that out in the next mission, guys. Um, for now, let's uh, end this uh, mission. I appreciate it, as always, uh, your feedbacks and your comments in the last uh, in the last uh, episodes. Keep them going. I'm reading all of them. I really, really like the interaction and what you think about uh, this playthrough. We got a banger mission coming up, so stay tuned, guys, and see you in the next run. Bye bye.